When you're organizing and categorizing your assets, performing basic searches and smart searches is important. Let's take a look. All right, so I am at my start screen, and instead of working in one of the scratch demo projects that we created earlier in this chapter, I want to go into the main Topa Topa project within the exercise files. So here I have it under my recent files. You may have to go into open project and then navigate to your project and Topa Topa. There it is. All right, so here I have all of my assets, and let's maximize this by pressing tilde, so we have a little bit more room. And the first thing I wanna mention is just a very basic search, and you use this search field here, and whatever text you put in here, it's going to live filter all of the clips that match that. So for example, there are quite a few clips that talk about coffee, because Topa Topa Brewery is currently making a coffee IPA. So I'm gonna type in coffee, and then all bins that have a clip containing the word coffee open, and those that don't are remain closed. All right, so you can see that this is closed, this is open, and then here are all of the clips within that bin that have the word coffee in it. You can see that there's also an image with the word coffee in it, and there are some interview clips where they talk about this coffee IPA. All right, so that's a very quick and easy way to pull up a set of clips that match a certain criteria. And then maybe you want to edit with these. Maybe you want to move them around in different bins like we talked about in the previous movie. Or maybe you just want to set up a group of clips that you can go back to again and again when you're working in a certain part of your project. All right, so if I'm working in a part of the project where I'm talking all about Coffee IPA, maybe I wanna set up a bin that I can frequently come back to without having to use my search field here. So what I wanna do is actually set up a search bin. I'm going to X this out, all right, and now we're not looking at those coffee clips anymore. And instead, I'm gonna click on this search bin icon here. Now I can search across all metadata or all columns of information, or I can dial into a specific column of information. For now, I'll keep it on all metadata and I'll just type in coffee and okay. All right, so here are all of the clips that have the word coffee in them, all right? I don't have to type coffee again and again in my search field. I can just always come back to my search bin and find those. And I can set up as many search bins as I want on as many different searches as I want. So I can set up a new search query. And here I wanna bring up all of the shots of the outside of the tasting room. So I'll just type in outside and okay. And here's another collection of clips. I can have as many searches as I want, and I can also go deeper with my searches. For now, let's focus on coffee. So I'm going to just delete my outside search. I'm going to select it and press delete. Again, I'm just deleting the search results, not the clips contained within it. And here, what I wanna do is actually rate some of these clips so that I'm only looking at my best coffee clips. To do that, I'm going to display the comments column within my metadata. So I'll right click and choose metadata display and then twirl down Premiere Pro project metadata. And we want to display the comments column right here. Okay, and gotta go find that, it's right here. And we'll drag it down right next to the name and give myself enough room. Okay, so I can add whatever text I want in here. So if I wanted to go through all of these clips, load them and rate them good, best, and so on, I certainly could. I'm not going to actually load them, but I will go ahead and add some metadata within my comments column. Uh, I'm just gonna call this one best, and then good, good, best, 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 good, and so on. All right, so this is nice, but if I amend my search to include some information about the quality of the shot, then I can filter on that search. So to edit this, I'm just gonna right click and choose edit search bin. And here, let's dial into that comments column and only look at my best shots. So I'll say okay. So now this is looking at the word coffee and it's dialing into the comment column specifically and looking for that best metadata. Now the cool thing about this is that it's not only just a search bin, it is a smart bin. So as I continue adding data to my clips, then this will grow. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look at one of those coffee clips that I did not rate. 
I know that there's one in interviews and Casey. Okay, so here's where he's talking about coffee IPA, but there's no rating. But watch what happens when I add some ratings metadata here. I'm just going to type in best and take a look at my search bin when I do this. And there we go, it's been added, okay? So this can really work for me as I go through and add a lot of valuable data to my clips. These search bins can help us throughout the entire editing process. Again, when you don't need a search query anymore, you can just select the search bin and press delete. And that's only deleting the search query, not any of your clips. All right, so those are search bins, a really nice, useful way to dig in and find exactly what you need as you're going through all of your assets.